Hey guys, so here's the second half of the week's video. Uh, we're going to be talking about deposition. So to review, weathering is breaking down rocks and making them into smaller sediments and smaller pieces. Erosion is transporting or moving sediments, and that's what we were talking about in the last video. Erosion is the process where anything, and in our case, a stream or a river, but it could also be wind and glaciers and even uh, water at the beach, right? So we call that um, longshore drift uh, and uh, wave action. But in a river, water flows and it washes the area clean. Just like how when we have dirty hands, we wash our hands clean with moving water. The faster the moving water, the more stuff it can move. So what I want to point out here is this river here, or this stream. This stream has a bunch of mud and silts and clays in it, maybe even sands. And we can see it and it looks like dirty water, but dirty water is healthy water. And what happens is that up this hill, where there's weathering and rocks are getting broken into smaller and smaller pieces, the rain that comes down washes that area clean and it carries those sediments down the river. Now this water continues to move fast and fast and it's able to carry these things, but eventually it slows down. And it usually slows down where it goes from steep to gradual and also where it enters large bodies of water or bigger areas of water. So like lakes, uh, ponds, oceans, seas. Uh, and what happens there is when water slows down, like we saw on the graph, when it slows down, it can't carry as many things. And they drop to the bottom and they form this depositional feature. In our case, sorry, that's my rabbit. Let me show you the rabbit. There she is. She's a little cutie pie. Look at her. I might as well show you the cat too. He's sleepy. He's sleepy kitty. Right? Sleepy kitty right there. Sleepy kitty. Okay. So I'll try to make this video short and sweet now. All right. So dirty water is just water that's moving sediments and sediments end up getting deposited when the river or stream slows down. So as a river flows into, we're going to call this the surface of a lake. As this river flows into the surface of the lake, and then ends up flowing through here, it starts to slow down. And the water slows down and slows down and slows down. As it begins to slow down, the largest stuff drops out first. So the largest sediments get deposited first. So in this case, let's say it's sand. So this is gonna be, sand is deposited here, which drops to the bottom. And then as this slows down, the silts will be deposited. And eventually where it almost completely stops or where it does stop moving, the clays are then deposited. So we have this horizontal sorting along the floor of the ocean, along whatever body of water this river or stream is flowing into. That's horizontal sorting. Something else that you'll see is that if you have a tube or a huge area of water, and you throw a bunch of mixed sediments into it. So pebbles, sands, silts, and clays, all at the same time, they'll end up doing this. So they all get dropped in, the large ones fall the fastest, small ones are slower, and the smallest are the slowest. So I'll show you that again. We throw them all in at one time, large ones fall the fastest, the small ones fall the slowest. That happens in water because water has a lot of uh, friction, a lot of slowing down, a lot of resistance to sediments moving through it. So this is an example of the Nile River Delta. So the Nile River will be flowing through here in, in Egypt and eventually it makes it out into the Mediterranean. You'll notice a couple things. You'll notice this weird bulge here. This is called a delta. And you'll also notice that this, there's, there's this like cloudy brown area which is a bunch of clays. Main point being that all these mixed sediments, pebbles, sands, silts, clays, they all get spread throughout here, but because of horizontal sorting, remember this is a satellite image, the largest sediments will be dropped here because uh, 
horizontal sorting. The largest ones get dropped first because it starts to slow down and then smaller and smaller and smaller. And eventually you just end up with this cloudy mess, which is just clays. All right, so let's take a look. Boom, large sediments first, smaller, smallest, and then your smallest are the furthest out. That is a delta. So if they ever ask you, what is the depositional feature of a river or a stream? The deposition is a delta and it forms horizontal sorting. Okay, so if you want to watch about where beaches get their sand from, watch that video. Um, we're not going to talk much about graded bedding. We can get back to that once we get into the classroom. So here's a beautiful example of horizontal sorting. We have a stream flowing through. The large sediments are dropped first, smaller, smallest, and then really, really small stuff further south. That is horizontal sorting, textbook horizontal sorting. All right. So something that forms from a meandering river or meandering stream is this thing called a floodplain. A floodplain is just an area where this river once flowed all the way over to here, it flowed all the way over to here, and it flattened that entire area out. By doing so, it created this thing called a floodplain, which is really a great place for farmers because every so often, this area will flood. And what that does is it brings nutrients all throughout this entire area, feeding the ground, allowing really strong and rich plants to grow. Um, so yes, it may be annoying to have these floods happening, but it's a great thing for agriculture in the floodplain. So this entire area is a floodplain. You'll see that in the question. So here's the Mississippi River, or well, the Missouri River that flows into the Mississippi. And you'll see that it does flood. So this entire area here is pretty much flat and you can see that it flooded with water. Beautiful place to farm. Okay, so this is a floodplain. What is this depositional feature? Well, I'll tell you this, horizontal sorting, large sediments here, smaller sediments here, and then eventually the smallest sediments on the outside. What is this feature for a river or a stream depositional environment or depositional feature? This is a delta. All right, cool. And just quick little review. Here's an example of a mass movement, a landslide. Remember that it's got mixed sediments, got boulders there, and you got all these clays all the way out here. You got little pebbles and cobbles and sands. Landslides are an example of a mass movement caused by the force of gravity, and the sediments are found to be not layered and not sorted. They're just randomly dropped, unsorted sediments. Okay, hopefully this makes sense. Good luck, everyone. Try out that near pot.